Hello again. So this is the second part of my lecture. This one's going to be very, very short. So, so far we have learned, you know, the hard stuff, right? How to turn numbers into engineering notation. Well, in engineering notation, we usually use a metric system or SI prefixes. And usually we just use the prefixes that correspond to the numbers, the multipliers that we need. So you look at your powers and you will see that on my chart for engineering notation, it all also goes by powers of three. And you know why at this point, because our numbers are always have a multiplier 10 times to the power of some kind of uh, multiple of three. So I just quickly want to show you how to use those prefixes. So let's say I have a number. And my number is 0 0.000035. Well, first I need to turn this into engineering notation. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen and I'm going to go by threes. One, two, three. Now I have to stop, right, and check. Uh, the number in front of me is still uh, zero, so I need to keep it moving. So I move three more. And my answer is 35 times 10 to the negative 6 because I was moving to the right and I moved 6 times. So I want to use that with some kind of SI prefix. But the prefix has to be attached to something and that something is a unit. So I need to be able to, it needs to be attached to a unit. So I'm going to say that this number that I have over here has a unit called farad. Now you have no idea what those farads are. And it really does not matter what they are. All you need to know for this is that farad is represented by capital letter F. That's it. So let me put those ferrets. Capital letter. Ah, oh, he keeps doing this. Oh. Okay, it really does not want to cooperate. There we go. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a prefix. So I'm going to look at my chart. And chart says that 10 to the negative 6 corresponds to micro. So I should type in 35 microfarads. Now micro is an interesting letter. It's not anywhere on the keyboard. It has this long tail. So when you type it in on the keyboard, and that goes, that is also true for all of your assignments, right? Every single time you have micro, you put lowercase u, and then you unit, right? So where is 10 to the negative 6? It's hiding inside our micro, okay? So let's do another example. Here is... Um, Here's a number, and our units are going to be ohms this time, okay? Ohms is usually represented by this, this symbol. So I want to first put into engineering notation, so 1, 2, 3, and then I can stop. This is a three-digit number. So my answer is 370 times 10 to the 3. And this is ohms. So I'm going to turn those ohms into some kind of prefix ohms and hide my 10 to the 3. So I'm going to look at my chart. And this is the same chart that you guys see on my window with the blue border. 
So it looks like 10 to the 3 is kilo. This chart is a little bit wrong. Kilo is usually lowercase. So please use lowercase kilo for all of your assignments. Um, so this one is 370 kilo. Always lowercase k. So where is 10 to the 3 hiding? Inside the kilo. Okay. It's hiding inside the kilo. So let me do another example. Let's do okay. And my units are going to be hertz. All right. First, let's turn this into an engineering notation. One to three. One to three. I can stop now. So it's going to be four fifty-seven times 10 to the 6, because I'm moving to the left. And that's in hertz. And now I'm going to convert that to hertz plus some kind of prefix. So I'm going to look at what is 10 to the 6 on my chart. And this one says mega. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 457 mega hertz one thing i want you to keep in mind is that your unit itself farads ohms hertz if it's capitalized keep it capitalized if you don't it will be wrong okay so for example hertz is hz so it's capital h lowercase z they both have to be exactly the same way i show them on your assignment so the next step I want you to do is I want you to go into the hub and do the engineering notation practice assignment. I have changed a little bit the answer key and the way the answer key is made for that assignment. So make sure uh, if you have 10 to the negative 3, I've taken away the parentheses write it in as 10 hat negative 3 okay for your assignment also when you're writing down the number let's say you have 370 well let's make it 457 megahertz right you put 450 number 457 then you put a space and then you put your unit with the prefix all right and like I said, if you get a prefix that is represented by letter U, you type in letter U instead. All right, so go ahead and do your assignment. Uh, it's due September 27th, I believe. So make sure you get it done before September 27th, midnight. Otherwise, you're going to have a really nasty grade.